plenty. Okay, Dave, do you want me to? Yeah, go I'll ahead. I'll run with it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Bands on. Uh, most of you are familiar faces. If I have some new folks, go ahead and pop your bands on by sliding them all the way up into your armpit. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna, and then we're gonna pull them down just into that spot, the divot between bicep and tricep. Tighten those guys up. We want one finger to fit in between our bands and no more space than that. Um, and then as we go throughout this, between the exercises we do, um, I'd like you to restart your cycle between each exercise. That way it doesn't pause uh, as you're doing the work. And I'm getting all hooked up here. Uh, something to be mindful of as we're doing this is our cap re refill, just making sure our bands aren't too tight. So if you want to go ahead and take your palm up, give it a press, notice that it goes from white back into its normal color in about three seconds. And if that happens, you're doing well. And if that doesn't, your bands might be a bit too snug. Uh, if you don't have water, please grab it now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the Instagram live so we can have both platforms going. Uh, and then I'll briefly discuss what we're going to do for our workout today. So band up, grab water, grab your mat, your space, whatever you're working with. All right. And we're good to go for our workout today. So those of you who have been participating in our workouts, we've been doing a ton of body control and cardio, which is awesome. We are becoming masters of our own movements. Today, we're going to switch it up a little bit. So previously, we've done things in 30-second intervals. Now, I've been watching everyone on the Zoom and everyone on Instagram who's been joining. You know, I can't see you, but I know you're doing your best. So I think we're ready to progress. And so what that means is today, we're going to be doing a slightly different interval it's gonna be 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. A little bit longer, a little bit harder. And what this does is it enables us to focus more on the individual muscle groups that we're building. So instead of just throwing our bodies around, we're gonna be really focusing in on that muscle building today. Um, so it's gonna be fewer movements, longer bits of time. So with that being said, if anyone has questions, unmute, toss them out throughout the workout. If anything does not feel good or reasonable for your body, stop, pause, reconsider, ask for a modification. I'll be, I'll be offering those for most of our exercises. So per usual, we're gonna get started with forearm. So getting your cycle going. And we're gonna jump right into our 40 second intervals today. So we're gonna start with a lateral upward wrist curl. So what does that mean? My arms are out to the side. And I want to keep my wrists in line with my shoulders the whole time I'm doing this. So our first 40 seconds are just going to be curl up, up. Okay, so that's our move. So I'm going to start my timer and go ahead and jump on into it. We go curl, curl, curl. And because we're doing 40 second intervals today, it's especially important that you check in with yourself and time your pacing accordingly. So we don't want to burn out too soon. So I like to think of the wrist curls as being kind of slow. One, two, one, two, okay? Now, as we're doing this, your elbows are gonna start to bend. Keep extending the arms up to the side. So imagine you have fists, you're punching them out towards the side wall. We have five more seconds, and then we're gonna take that 20 seconds rest in four, three, two, and one. Awesome, shake it out. Okay, so we're gonna jump. We have 20 seconds, and then we're gonna jump right into our next wrist to wiggle and let's hop into it arms out again make those fists in out in out keep extending your arms towards the side the whole time you do this and if you want to play with balance here you can maybe pick your left foot off the floor for this one and after this set we have one more so if you're balancing one leg do not fear you'll get a chance to the other side out good keep curling See if you can clench those fists a little bit tighter. Forearm should really be starting to work and burn now. Let me check our time. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, rest. Option to use your 20 seconds to check your cap refill. See how quickly the blood comes back into your palm, okay? Now, final set. Arms out to the sides, 40 seconds, let's go. If you wanna balance, lifting your left leg this time you can. 
curl. And as you're doing this, sometimes when we exercise, we tend to kind of hunch, keep pulling your shoulders away from your ears. So there's a muscle right here called the upper trapezius. We don't want that guy to shorten because then we're just walking around all crunched up and small. So think about creating space between your chin and your collarbones. Good. We're half done. Keep curling. Squeeze. This is our last set. Let's make it great. Good. 10 more seconds. If you're balancing, keep that foot off the floor. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Should be feeling it. Okay? So every exercise we do today, if you can get to that, the point where the muscle you're working is starting to shake a little bit and you can tolerate that, that's a good thing. That's what we want. That's how we build strength and muscle mass. So on that note, let's hop into our next exercise. Tricep dip. So I'm going to come down onto the floor. My wrists are underneath my shoulders. And there is an alternative to this one if it's too hard on your wrist. I'm going to pick myself up and off the floor. Keeping my hips up, I bend the elbows, straighten. Bend the elbows, straighten. Now, I don't want to let my butt touch the floor. I want to keep my hips elevated the whole time. If that's too hard for your wrist, you can come into a good old-fashioned tricep extension. Either way, we're working the back of the arm. So set yourself up into whatever form works best for you. First 40 seconds, we have three sets. So keep in mind that pace needs to be one that's sustainable. And if you're on the floor, fully pushed away from you, bend into it. And that range of motion, how low you go, just depends on how able your triceps are to take that load. So it can be a baby dip. It doesn't have to be big. If you really need to fire up those muscles, pick up the pace, go faster. But keeping in mind of our time today, we have 10 more seconds here, then we're going to take that break. You guys are doing great already. Cool. I knew we could do it. Five, four, three, two. Take that rest, optional tricep stretch. So it's side. Right into our second set. Hands back or elbows in, either extending or down and up, 40 seconds. Press, down and press. And I want you to be, your elbows to be hugged into the midline of the body. So if you have wings, no sticking your wings out. Tuck them in, elbows go straight back behind you. Press, press. Good, I like it. Making sure your hips stay up. Don't let your butt sag. We're gonna have a variation for our final option. Nice, Justin, good. I hope we're feeling something here. All right, Cassiopeia, I see Adam working. We have 10 more seconds, keep going. Even if you're just holding yourself up and barely working into it, that's better than stopping for five, four, three, two, 20 seconds rest, shake out the wrist. If they're starting to get fatigued, you can always switch to that extension for this last rest. Now, if you're wanting an extra challenge, everyone make your way back into your position. Option to extend the legs long, same thing. Down, up, down, up. Time is rolling. Don't let your butt hit the floor. We're already 10 seconds in. Good. Woo. Nice, Kayleen. Good, Ethan. I see John. Things should be shaking and burning. Push the floor away from you actively the whole time. Go, Gabe. Yes. Last 10 seconds, and then we're going to take a well-earned break. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone come on up. Clasp the hands. Press the base of the palms forward. Lengthen out those muscles. It's a little different. A little bit more challenging in a different way. The upper body is pretty similar. The lower body is where we're really going to have that isometric, that hold, where things start to burn. So next up, push-ups, familiar move, good old-fashioned push-ups. So I take my wrists underneath my shoulders, I come up into plank position, I drop into it, and press back up. I want you to think about leading, not with your chest, but leading with your belly button. So drop and lift, no sagging the hips. If at any point you get tired, you have one of two options. You can either hold in plank, or you can drop your knees and continue that same movement, but try not to just give up entirely, okay? Working through it is where we get stronger. So set yourself up, 40 seconds, let's go, push-ups. I don't care if you do five or you do 25, as long as you're moving. Feel those chest muscles working, the arms are working, the back is working. 
finding that nice appropriate pace. We do have three sets and we're already half done. Good. Notice if your hips are starting to drop, keep engaging your core. Your body should be in a plank position the entire time you're doing this to protect your low back. Keep going guys, in 10 we're gonna drop the knee. We have six, five, four, three, two, drop them, give the wrist a break. Okay, second set. Make your way back onto your hands and knees or into plank, 40 seconds. If you need an extra challenge for your push-ups today, lift one leg, down and up, down and up. Only one leg and we have another set after this. All right, good. Let's check in, see how we're doing. Awesome. Good, totally okay to pause and plank. That is fine. Great, Bonnie, you're moving, I love it. Even if it's a small bend in the elbows, anyone, as long as you're doing something, that's all that counts. Last 10 seconds, and we have one more set. You guys are doing great. I know it's starting to burn. Good. I saw someone shift back into downward facing dog and then shift right back into it. That's fine. We have four, three, two, drop your knees, rest. Everybody roll your shoulders out. And we've got our last set. So come into the knees or the plank position. Final ones is our last push-ups of the day. 40 seconds, go. Good. Instagrammers, keep working. We're doing a strength-based workout today. I see people getting tired. You guys are doing great. Even if it's a baby bend in the elbows, keep going. Nice, Justin. I like the adjustment. That's awesome. Go, Brandon. We are more than half done. You guys got it. Go, go, go. Last 10. Breathing. Good, Diane. Good. Five, four, three, two, and everybody rest. Clasp your hands behind your back. Pull the back of the shoulders together to create space. Nice chest stretch. Whoo. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god yeah totally different. different totally different wow. and that's what we're going for today we've done a lot of like moving our bodies around and moving fast and that's so important how well can we control our bodies now let's build a little bit more muscle so that we can help that control good release the hands shake it out okay we have only two circuits of our heart rate boost today, one with the arm and one with the leg, just to see how it feels because that's something we're used to. So before we do our last arm exercise, let's hop on up, just give our arms a break, get our heart pumping, and then we're going to come down for our last one. You guys, I saw everyone was tired, but you did so well, did really well, okay? So for the first one, for our heart rate boost, we're familiar with it. We're jumping rope, 30 seconds. The next 30 seconds, we're gonna come down into a plank position and do what's called X plank, opposite hand to opposite leg. If this is not comfortable for you, you can be on the hands and knees, lifting opposite limbs. We call them bird dogs. The last 30 seconds, we're gonna be all the way down on our bellies, we're gonna swim it out, okay? So we're working from standing to down on our belly, okay? First 30 seconds, jump rope, let's hop. And you can keep your elbows tucked into the midline of your body towards your sides the whole time to maybe get a little bicep workout in here too. All right. Good, hop the other way, move that rope around. Light on the heels, high on the toes. Last five, four, three, two. Everybody down, X plank, 30 seconds. Tap back, shift forward. Tap back, shift forward. Alternative, bird dogs. Lift and lift. As you're doing this, try and get your hips up and back as far as you can. Work towards tapping the ankles so that you can open up the backs of your hamstrings. Tap, shift, tap, and shift. All right, half done. And this is where we have the option to pick up the pace 
to get our heart rate up. This is the only round of this we're doing. Last 10, hips up and back, dropping our heels towards the floor as we're doing this. We have five, four, three, two. Everyone onto your belly. Extend your fingertips and toes in opposite directions. Swim it out, 30 seconds. And as you're doing this, I'd like you to be looking down at the floor so the back of the neck is long and give your glutes a nice squeeze to support your low back. Woo! Point those toes, nice, long, strong leg muscle. Good, after this move, we're gonna push back into a child's pose. 10 more seconds. Yes, we have five, four, three, and two. Everyone push your butt back to your heels. Take your knees nice and wide, give yourself some space, and let your forehead drop down towards the floor. Good job, gang. All right, now let's take a stretch. Walk both hands over to the right. Take your left palm on top of your right palm. And let your neck relax. And then walk both hands over to the left. Take right palm on top of left palm, letting your head drop between your arms. Relaxing your jaw. And then go ahead and walk your hands back through center. Final arm exercise. It's a forearm plank walk. So I make my way into forearm plank. Okay. Once I'm down, I walk all the way up as high as I can. And I walk back down. I walk up as high as I can. And I walk back down. The modification for this is just do your forearm plank on your knees. And if you want to do it on your knees, you can extend alternating legs if you want an extra challenge. Okay. So we're either down with the knees dropped slightly behind the hips or we're walking the whole time. Try and keep those legs straight. Get your toes all the way up towards elbows. Walk it back up. First 40 seconds in forearm plank. Here we go. Making sure that elbows are underneath shoulders. Walk it all the way up. Walk it all the way back. As you're doing this, we have a tendency to hold our breath as we walk up. Take a big inhale, big exhale as you walk it back. Keep moving. Totally okay to hang out in forearm plank if walking is not working. Movement is movement. Good. As we're doing this, we're actually stretching our hamstrings because we're keeping our legs nice and straight. In five, we're going to drop the knees for that rest. We have four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. You can let your head hang. Do whatever you got to do. We have 20 seconds, and we're going to jump right back into it. Shoulders should be feeling it working. All right. Back into forearm plank. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Everyone down, everyone down. All right. Second set. Go. Walk it up. Walk it out. Fantastic, Ethan. Cool. Nice, Gabe. Making sure that we're breathing. One of the most important parts here, just because we're really strengthening our muscles, doing some hard work, doesn't mean we should go <gasps> and deprive our muscles of oxygen, which they need to function. Last 10 seconds. See if you can walk it up one more time as high as possible. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, drop your knees, rest however you want to rest, catch your breath, shake it out. Roll it out, shrug them up, hug them back. Shrug them up, hug them back. Last arm exercise, make your way back onto your form. 40 seconds, we are rolling. Walk it up, walk it back. The arms don't move, the shoulders don't move, just the lower body. And because we're pressing our hips, our heart up above our arms, even more blood is going down into our arms. Super move, half done. Yes. Good job to Instagram, everyone who's with us right now. I love it. Last 10. Keep pressing the floor away from you. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone come up, shake your arms out. And let's switch out our bands. I'm curious what people think of 
the strength versus like the body weight, well, it's all body weight, but the strength versus the body control stuff. So any feedback, greatly appreciated. Good job, gang, switch them out. Man. <laughs> Well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's a total game changer. This is different, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's good. The only thing we really did is we just switched up our intervals. So normally uh -huh. when we do our workouts, we're going like, go, go, speed, speed. And when we're doing speed, we're thinking, how well can we quickly control our movements? So I've talked about the term proprioception before, um, the body's or the brain's ability to know where any given body part is at any given time. So when we're doing fast stuff, we're challenging our proprioception as well as our heart. When we're doing slower based stuff, our muscles are really able to kick in and we can isolate and start to feel that intense burn. Yeah, and I both mean, are great. They're just I, different. <laughs> I don't know how everybody else felt, but for me, way, way more burn when you slowed it down like that versus the speed. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Because speed is, is mostly, it's, it's just heart, right? Your heart rate's pumping and your brain's like, what am I doing? You know, like, how do I control everything? And now it's less on the brain and more on just the, the isolation. Speed. But everyone looked great. All right. Bands on legs. Team, sip of water. Grab it. Toast. And I actually want to point something out here. My bands are technically not on as well as they could be. So notice if your bands are in line with one another and see if you can start to angle the outer edge of the bands ever so slightly up. So we want more of an angle here than just a straight line. And there is no shame in starting over again, readjusting those bands. <laughs> All right. So we had that feeling of that burn in the upper arms or in the arms. Now let's explore that with legs. So starting with the calf muscles, everyone hop on up, tighten your bands, adjust the outer edges up. We're going to do a simple move. It's a heel lift, so just up and down. But we're going to do the 40 seconds. Now with that in mind, there are variations you can do for this one to make it more challenging. And we'll work into those in our second and third set. So the first set, everyone, feet together underneath your hips, toes facing forward, just up and down with the heels, 40 seconds. And as you're doing this, because the exercise itself is fairly simple, I want us to be mindful of our posture. So think about your head stacked on top of your spine and your shoulders stacked on top of your hips. And technically, technically, our ears should be in line with our shoulders. Now, because we use a lot of technology, our head starts to jump forward, um, which is actually a lot on our spine because it's a 10 pound ball of weight pulling on your spine. So try and pull the ears in line with the shoulders, last 10 seconds as best you can. Might feel a little funky. Good, we have five, four, three, and two. Shake it out, rest. So that was pretty simple. We got that, we're used to that. Now, second set, you can do the same thing. Or if you want the extra challenge, you can do a single leg. Up, down, up, down. And if lifting that leg is too hard, you can come onto the big toe of one leg and just work. Say the right leg is working and the left big toe is rooted into the floor. So let's give it a shot with single leg. Um, if balance is something we're still working on, you can always grab onto a wall too for help. So go ahead and come onto the big toe of the left foot. If you can pick that foot off the floor and the right leg is working 40 seconds. And if you're needing even more of a challenge, which is really hard, don't let your right heel touch the floor. Down and up. And that's hard for me to do while I look at you guys. Balance trick, look at something on the floor or the wall that is not moving and that'll help you keep your balance. If you're looking at something that's moving, you're more likely to move as well. Half done. Really feeling that calf burning or starting to burn. Or maybe you're a superhuman and it doesn't burn at all. Last 10. Good. Lift that high as heels you can, pulse it at the top no matter where you are. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
to and drop it down. Let's go right to the other side. Come onto your right big toe. Get your left heel up and off the floor. We're going. Good. Option to pick the right foot up entirely. Single leg. Nice. Good. And even if we're on one leg, I still want your posture to be good. So no hunching over just because we added a little element of extra difficulty. Last 10. Good, everyone pick that heel up, pulse it at the top wherever you are. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Our only heart rate boost of this portion. Jump rope, 30 seconds, go. Keeping those arms tucked into the body. Biceps are working, even if the bands are not around our arms. See if you can swing that rope under your legs twice. We got great hops, because we have practice keeping our heels off the floor. Ooh, losing my device. <laughs> Good, last 10. Speed it up, fast, fast, fast. Go, go, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody into plank position. X planks, right hand to left leg, shift. Left hand to right leg, shift. 30 seconds, we're grooving. Option to take the bird dog. All right, cool. Looking good, gang. Good, all right, we have 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna come all the way down onto our bellies for swimmers in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop onto your belly. Arms up, legs up, swim it up. Fingers and toes reaching in opposite directions the entire time. Gaze is down at the floor, back of the neck is long. You're breathing while you're swimming. And I want you to think that you have a shark on your heels and it's coming to get you. Get out of there. Go. I know we have a lot of swimmers in our mix, so you know this well. Floor swimming. <laughs> All right. Half done. See if you can squeeze your glutes. Get your thighs off the floor if they're not already there. Your core is always engaged to support your low back. Last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on up to sit. Grab a sip of water, team cheers. Okay. So for our next exercise, it is a sumo wall fit pull. Now, some of you might be familiar with wall fits. I come against a wall and I sit my butt down. Now we're gonna do these without a wall. So sumo means we step our legs wide, angle those toes slightly out. Now I want you to imagine you have a wall behind you. You're gonna sit your butt down, press your knees open, but imagine that you have that wall directly back behind you so your spine stays nice and straight. So we've got 40 seconds. Everyone assume the position, we're going. And because it's really hard just to sit like this, we're gonna pulse into it, down and up. No sloppy knees. Keep pressing them out, pulse, pulse. And this is all we're doing. We're 10 seconds in. Now, as your hips open up, you have the option to drop your butt even lower. Think leading with your tailbone, chest stays up, you're against a wall. Pulse, pulse, that nice good form. My shoulders are over my hips. Relax them, upper trapezius, release it. 10 more seconds, even lower, work. Feel the burn, maybe even the shake. That is what we're going for today. We have eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hop up, 20 seconds rest, rock side to side. All right. And the modification for this one is just don't drop as low. It can be a baby variation of squat. Bend your knees, drop your butt down. Chest up, shoulders back, let's work it. And I think that the pulse actually makes it even easier for this set. If you want more of a challenge, drop your butt down and hold, don't move. I'm gonna pulse. <laughs> Good, feeling the burn in our quads. Press those knees back. 
half done. Don't let your butt lift more than an inch. So we're not coming out of it. Drop even lower, come on. The last 10 seconds, we're gonna drop low and hold. Everyone get low. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, lower five, four, three, two, come up, shake it out. Whew. I'm feeling it. All right. Good, side to side. Last one, feet wider than hip distance, toes angled out, find that nice straight spine and then bend into it, we're going. Good. And if you want even more of a challenge here, arms straight up. So I have a wall directly back behind me and my butt and my shoulders are in contact with the wall the whole time. And my knees are not floppy, they're open. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, get even lower. Yes, we are more than half done. You guys have got it. If your arms are up, pull them in line with your ears. Keep the core engaged. Last 10. Everybody get low and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, breathe, four, three, two, and one. Come up. Shake it out. Next move. So that was a lot of quads. We're gonna to continue to work the quads, but we're also gonna work into our hamstrings and glutes with a good old fashioned static lunge knee drop. And we've done these before in our work. So I step my left foot forward and my right foot back, keeping the bend in my front knee. I don't wanna straighten this leg. I drop the back knee down, pick it up. Back knee down, pick it up. So this front leg does not lengthen. I'm not coming out of it. I'm holding that lunge position and just working into the back leg. I don't care if it touches the floor, get it towards the floor. First 40 seconds, left foot forward, right foot back. If you need a modification, just don't step your foot back as far and it's okay to come all the way up. Let's go, let's see how we're doing. Awesome. Now, broken records, the same principle applies. Shoulders over hips, head on top of the spine. Squeeze your butt. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten. See if you can do this. Looks good, looks good. Nice, George. Good, Kiara looks good. Mariko looks great. Yes, you guys are doing it. Last 15 seconds. Keep that front leg stable, don't let it move. Nice, Diane, good job. We have 10. Now, everyone, bend that right knee, drop it towards the floor and hold it, static hold. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, step it up and shake it out. Whew. Quick hamstring release. Hands to opposite shoulders, hinge forward, come back up. One more time, hinge forward, come back up and let's work into the other side. Right leg forward, left foot back. Remember, you don't have to be on a tightrope. You can always scoot your legs further apart with Y. Hips are squared off. Take that 90 degree bend into the right knee. Drop the left knee down. Up, down, up. Time's rolling. Good. And that hamstring is contracting every time you bend the back knee. Good. Woo! Nice. Have done. See if there's somewhere in the body that you can relax as you do this. We don't need to tense everything up just because we're working our hamstrings. Last 10, keep going. We're gonna come up in five, four, three, 
too. Come on up, shake it out. All right, final set. Right foot forward, left leg back again. 40 seconds with a little bit of work at the bottom. We're going out, down, out, down. And you can take your hands to your front leg if you want to, that's fine. As long as your knee is in line with your ankle, no shooting forward. Already have done. Up. Option to extend your arms straight up if you're needing more balance today. Now everybody drop that back knee down all the way as low as you can. Hover it off the floor and hold. 10, 9, squeeze your glute. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Take your fingertips to your thighs, walk your hands down your legs, pedal out the legs. So I want to straighten alternating legs. And as we do this, do your best to keep your heels rooted into the floor. Does that mean you don't walk your hands down as low? That's okay. But we want to get into the hamstrings, not the calves. So keep those heels down, pedal it out. And then go ahead and let everything hang and just take a breath. If your knees are bent, you can start to lengthen them, straighten them. Give yourself a rock side to side. Let the backs of the legs open up. And then let's roll on up to stand. Okay. We have two more moves. Okay, so we started doing stuff with one leg forward. We really fired up those muscles in our lunge. We're going to take that and build on it single leg Romanian deadlift. So my left leg is forward. I come onto the toes of the right foot. I bend into my front leg. I hinge forward and come back up. I hinge forward and come back up. And I'm looking over at the screen. I encourage looking down as you do it. So this left leg is really working. A bigger bend in the leg, more work. I hinge and come up. Spine is nice and straight. Down and up. Think about the body being a pendulum, first 40 seconds. Alternative modification, you step that right foot back and you just play with lifting it off the floor and tapping it down. All right, let's see how we're doing. Now I'm seeing some spinal rounding. Think about leading with your belly button. So we don't wanna let our spine round. If you don't touch the floor, that's fine. We're not focused on touching the floor. We're more thinking about the body staying flat and straight. Last 10 seconds. Good. I like it. That back leg is straight. Mm-hmm. Good. For five, four, three, and two. Rest. Cool. So one thing I'm noticing a little bit is some of this. Don't worry about that. Keep it straight. Don't drop towards the floor and then come back up. So we're gonna hinge at the hip and then rise. So maybe a challenge is to keep yourself from touching the floor. Same side, second set. Right foot's back, bend into the left knee, hinge at the hip, bring yourself up. Hinge at the hip, bring yourself up. And maybe you don't let the right leg touch the floor the whole time, I don't know, but we're already halfway Done. Bigger bend into that left leg. Work into it. Woo! Good. Balance gang. Good job. Think about pressing through all four corners of your standing leg. Last 10. See if you can do one more of your best variation of the day for five, four, three, and two. Killer work. Shake it out. Grab a sip of water before our second set. Check your cycle if it's not pumping. And let's do our last two of those. So, switching legs. My right foot's forward, my left foot's back. I bend into my right knee. I come down into it and I rise back up. Kick that back leg up, keep the heel in line with your hip and we rise. 40 seconds, go. Just as much a core exercise as anything else. 
<laughs> nice, Ethan, you got it. Yes. Keep your gaze on something that's not moving. Jeff, amazing. All right. Yes, looks good. Last 10. Deeper bend into the standing leg. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. We never perfect an exercise. There's always room for improvement, no matter how much we do it. But I have to say, you guys look really good. Things look fantastic. I think even in the last week or so, our balance has definitely improved. So everyone give yourself a pat on the back because those are great. Even when I saw a brief stumble, we all caught ourselves and got right back into it. Let's do the last one. Right foot forward, left foot back. Bend into that right knee. Big old generous bend. Let's go. And it can be exercise or it can be a game. Challenge yourself, gamify it. How low can you go? Really, no one else is watching. I'm barely even watching. There's so many of you guys. You're doing great. So challenge yourself. If you stumble a bit, you stumble. That's how we get stronger is pushing ourselves ever so slightly past our comfort point. Last 15 seconds. See if you can do two more with an even bigger bend into the right knee. Yes. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Hands to hips. Bend into the right knee. Bend into the left knee. Come back through center and take a quick forward fold. We have one more exercise here, then we have core and we're done. All right. You have the hips to wiggle side to side. Imagine you have a tail sticking out behind you. Wag your tail. Roll one up to stand. Last one of the day is a squat walk. So you come down into a squat position. My feet are slightly wider than my hips and my toes are angled out. No floppy knees. I get low. I don't let my torso move. I walk forward. I walk backwards. Essentially, we're mimicking another wall sit, but we're adding movement so it's a little less terrible. First 40 seconds. Assume the position. Walk it out. Now, your shoulders should not move at any point except forwards and backwards. No bobbing. Stay low. Weight is in the heels. Your butt shifts back. Woo! And you don't have to walk backwards. You can squat walk all the way around your house if you want. You can squat walk around your yard. As long as your butt gets low, drop it even lower. There we go. Last 10. Nice, Adam. Good. Bottom's even lower. Five, four, three, two. Come up, shake it out. We only have two more of these. Quick stretch before we continue. Everyone squat so low that you can grab your big toes. Let the chest drop. And then from here, straighten out your legs as much as you can with your big toes in your hand. I want you to keep contact with fingers and toes. Even if you can't straighten your legs all the way, that's fine. All right, roll it up. Clap two times for good measure. Back into squat, walk it out. If you want more of a challenge, hands behind the head. No arching of the spine, keep your core engaged. See how low you can go walking around in that squat, half done. It's better to stay low and pulse it or hold it or come slightly out of it than to stand entirely. Keep working it. Last 10. After this, we have one more set in eight, seven, bottoms down, six, five, four, three, two. Come on up, wiggle it out. For our last set, option to do what you've been doing. It's looking good or extend your arms up. Let's go, walk it out. Going on a squat journey. Thinking about what kind of snack I'm going to eat after class. <laughs> Good. If your arms are up, especially keep your core engaged. Walk it out. Everybody sink your butt lower. This is our last leg exercise of the day. Woo, we're doing it. Last 15 seconds. Nice, George, with those arms. Cassiopeia. Go, Gabe, go. Diane, I like it. We have five, 
four, three, two, and everybody rest. Grab water. Okay. Because we did sets of everything today, we're also doing sets of core. I see John give a shout out to Gabe. <laughs> yeah, you guys are doing great. Should my upper delta be hurting after those four on plank walks? Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so core. We sit, we take our arms up, we lift, lift, knee in, knee in. Now you'll notice I'm not slouching. So if you're doing this and you're slouching, hands to the sides to help press your chest up. This is the only core thing we're doing today. We have 40 seconds, three sets. We're firing the quads. We're also think about using your core to get your legs up, really help it kick in, okay? So everybody set yourself up, either arms up or arms down. We lift, lift, knee in, knee in up up in in keep growing taller there we go up in in yes no rounding out the spine last 10. doesn't matter how high you get your legs just give me something we have five four three two, and one, hamstring stretch, drop your hands, 20 seconds, pedal the legs out. All right, everybody roll back up to sit. Next set, up, up, in, in. Imagine that you have a zipper between your belly button and your chin, and I want you to zoop, zip it all the way up to keep growing taller, up. Up, feet are nice and flexed, in, in. We're half done. Yeah, let me check, see how we're doing. Woo, nice straight arms. Good, if you're starting to bend your elbows, lengthen them out, get into the shoulders. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hamstring stretch, let it go. Last set of the day. Everyone sit up. Everyone arms up. 40 seconds. We're going. And as you pull your knees into your chest, see if you can find work towards contact with your thigh and your belly. So we can either kind of like simply do it or we can really get the core involved. Up, kick. In, 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 half done. Grow a little bit taller from your fingertips. Lift those collarbones up, last 10. In five, we're gonna come down for the hamstring stretch. We have four, three, two, and one. Let everything hang. Woo, take a deep breath. Roll on up to sit. And then let's make our way onto hands and knees for a big quad stretch. So a lot of stuff we did today, our mock wall sits, our squat walks, even our static lunges was a lot of quad work. So let's release those guys. If it's too much on your knees, you can always come up to stand and take a quad stretch like so. Otherwise, left foot forward, right knee back, come into the proposal. And then start to drop your hips down and forward, getting a big stretch across the front of the right hip flexor, the right quad. And this is the only time where I'm going to tell you it's okay if your knee goes past your ankle. Keep dropping your hips down and then grow taller from the top of your head. And this is a perfect example of head to be stacked on spine. So notice if you're starting to round out, pull your head back on top of your spine. If you're needing more, reach back, grab that foot. All right, relax the shoulders. And let's switch sides. Right foot forward, left knee back. 
You can take your hands to your front thigh, work into it. Check that we're not drooping. Maybe even give your butt a little squeeze. So we're getting into this muscle and not this part of the body. If you want to reach back, grab it. And otherwise, use your next couple exhales to press your hips down and forward a little bit more. So seeing where you can relax something in the body, even in this deep stretch. And then when you're ready, start to shift your weight back. Come on to both knees. Take your hands down to the mat, extend your right leg out to the right. And think about your heel being in line with your right hip. And I'm on the inner edge of my right foot. And then start to press your butt back towards your heel. Good. And come back up, switch sides, left leg up, left, heel in line with hip, inner edge of the foot, press your butt back. And then come back up to center onto both knees. Give your hips, your tail a wiggle side to side. Come on up and give yourself a massive round of applause. Good job. Different workout today, but same awesome work. I'll see everyone tomorrow, same time. Awesome. Thank Thanks you very tomorrow. much. Thank you. Good job, gang. Thank you. That was great. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Go oh, Gator. Good job, Gator. <laughs> <laughs> Gator. Here to go, everyone. Awesome. Take care. Good job, John. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.